Okay, hey everybody, we are here at Eco Mast. I'm here with Roto, who is just... Uh, I travel in many countries, but I teach only in, in Belgium a little bit and in France, southern France, uh -huh. for a different course that I offer there, but only in bamboo furniture. Okay. I teach only bamboo furniture, never construction. When you were in France and Belgium? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then the rest I teach here most in Costa Rica. Okay. And, and so you've been teaching here at Ecomaste for the last year. How many workshops have you done here this year? Well, we make in the last year. I don't remember it right, but many, 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 many yeah. More than three. Oh no, yeah. more, more than five, six. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's been yeah. a busy year. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. And this construction behind us, this is a, a dry composting toilet. And how many people for how many days did this take? Uh, we did in different in different um, courses. Okay. We don't did in, the, in one one course. Oh, this is a two course. Project. I think we make in two course, and okay. then I finish with some students from Holland. Okay. That they stay Finishing here for touches. three months, and they help me to finish the whole project. Okay, cool. So I learned with the Chinese, and I I used to put lime and sand, and soil in the same proportion, and so you can save the tree for more than two hundred years in the ground. Because lime is... You use it as a treatment for the manu yeah, in the ground. Yeah, any wood that you put in the ground. Uh -huh. Lime is a natural product, and lime bread like, like uh, clay. And I used to put this in foundations and the wood, because so you can save the wood, the wood bread in the ground. So you just paint it on the wood? Uh, no. You make a... No, you mix the lime with soil and sand. And you make like a, some kind of concrete, but with this, with lime, concrete and sand. And then you put the post in you that. You put the post in with rocks, ah. and you have the ro the the post that breaks in the ground. Okay. And it gets less humid. So the post is in the ground, but it's not touching clay because the clay's no. always got moisture. And the clay's the, bringing the, moisture the clay, to the post. The clay is with uh, soil with and the sand mix and the same proportions. It keeps moisture away from the yeah. post. Yeah. Brilliant. I love it. Mm -hmm. So in this structure here. If somebody wanted to build something like this for themselves, but how much money in materials, if you're harvesting your own bamboo, but you're still buying whatever you need to treat it and do everything else, about what range of money do you think goes into a structure the like that? The money is not much. Not much? I think this kind, I think like 1,000. 1,000 dollars? Something more. Materials, maybe a yeah. little bit more, but not much like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe one, 1,500, I think. Okay. Because if you make yourself, you save a lot of money because that's, sure. here is a lot of work. A lot of labor. Yeah. 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 And then this roof is really awesome. It's got all the textures and curves in that. I use something like that similar. It's a fabric that you dip in cement, right? Mm -hmm. So, but I noticed the fabric that I've used is called geotextile or geotextile. Yeah. It's yeah. this yeah. black felt, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But I saw that's like a thicker membrane. Is that like a shade cloth or something you used? Uh, no, I put two times. Two times. That's yeah, why so I make thicker. Uh huh. But it's the regular felt, the hair textile. Yeah, it's same. Uh -huh. Regular. Just two, two caps. I put the times to make more stronger. Uh huh. And what did you use to seal it afterwards? I plastered with some material that the name is Muruseco. It's to make more flat, more nice. Okay. And then we paint with some special paint, for waterproof. And so uh -huh. we make waterproof roof. Okay. Well, I'm really interested to see some of your special tools that you've been using with bamboo. You like to take yeah, a look cool. in the workshop can there? Go to show that. Okay. So we're here in the workshop now, and this is really exciting for me because having like bamboo is, I've worked with a lot of wood. I've worked with a lot of dimensional lumber, made some furniture, some houses, some things like that. And then when you get into bamboo, um, you can splinter and break and crack the bamboo if you try to cut it like regular wood, right? So mm -hmm. that's where a lot of these special tools. And so give us a tour here of what we've got on the table. Yeah, this, this is, uh, for example, some kind of material that I make. This is some tools I make when I was 18 years old. 18. I was 18 years old when I made this. When you made this tool, you've been carrying this around since you were 18. Yeah, and this wow. and this I carry for 40 years now. Okay. And uh, that's the kind of tools you can find in Amazon. But I offer for my students 
the possibility to buy this tool so. Okay, well let's start with this. It's pretty similar to what I might find at a hardware store. Why, why mm. do you use this one rather than something that you could just buy at any hardware store? Uh, normal regular uh, sack that you find in the market is not so strong like this. This kind, this kind um, uh, frame that I used to make uh -huh. is because this is a strong. It's a, yeah, it's very thick. It's a thick steel. And I need to, to break the bamboo sometimes. Okay. With a regular sack, it's not possible because it's not so strong. This is, uh, I weld in the old material uh -huh. and I put a knot here in the, in, the, in the middle and so I can lose, I can change the sack. Cool, okay. And here's no tension. Yeah. And I can make, uh, I can put more tension. But it's a simple nail. With a simple nail you put here. And you make tension. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So and that work very very good. So this your is hacksaw is, for, is just it's, super it's with strong. me 40 years. 40 years. And it's making to make that. Watching that. Okay. Okay. So you don't That's need like, to switch tools. <laughs> yeah. And normal with regular sax, you can't do it that. No. No. And this is a Japan Japan hatch. And I make this too with uh, metal. Uh -huh. I used to. To find the, how do you say, the tension for the trucks, for the pickups, is some tension. Ah, the leaf springs. The leaf springs. Uh -huh. And with this material, it's, it's, it's a very hard material. Uh -huh. I used to make this hatch. Okay. But this hatch in the market is like $80 like this, and I sell for $50, the same quality. And okay. Like this. this is uh, some, some tool that I make stuff. Okay, I, I want to bring this close to the camera. Check this out. Yeah. So, this right here just slips right in. This this you manufactured just in your tire I, I bending metal yeah, and yeah. shave it, yeah. and that goes right in there. And this is his handle. And that shows very, how this works. That, that's, that tool is to work with the hands. If you don't want to use electricity, for example, you you can see the this bamboo is chopping here. Yeah, it's sharp and on I the can, edge. I can fix with this very quick. You just round it off quick, round, and quick. then it's just smooth. It gives all the every all yeah. the edges something smooth. Yeah. Uh huh. And I can I can so rough the notes too. The notes the, here. Uh huh. Stick Normal, it. you can do it this with uh, electric tools, but no, I've done it with an angle grinder, but yeah. that's yeah. But faster. This, <laughs> you can maybe it's not so faster, but it's very functional, and um, usually to make bamboo furniture. It's tools to make bamboo furniture. It's not for construction, though. Right. Um, for it's okay. very, very functional. Um, you don't need electricity. I can make it. I can make a chair of a bed or like this, only with these tools. Only with this. Mm -hmm. And the chisel, too. Mm -hmm. The chisel I make uh, when I was 18 years old. I made this when I was 18 too. In this too. That's nice. Wow. And I make this too. And I make different kinds of chisels. This knife has small. lasted you 40 years. Yeah, wow. this, it's with me 40 years. And you, you but you, you, it looks like you use this for everything. And you yeah. just keep it sharpened? Was it, was it that much bigger? When no, you, no, that was, was a really little bit bigger, like metal. maybe like this. Uh -huh. But it's very, very strong steel. Yeah. For example, I, I, I need to sharp this uh, only once a week. Uh -huh. And you use it right? And I use it because yeah. it's very, very hard material. Uh -huh. I can show here, for example, this is bamboo nail. I can show you how chirpiness. Yeah, that's that's effortless, yeah. and that's how you make the pins for. I make sure the nails binding that. Yeah, the yeah. two pieces together of bamboo. Yeah. And normal with a regular knife, you can do this because the chirp is only one side. If you are a right hand, you need to make the chirp in the left. If you are left hand, you need to make the chirp in the right. Uh -huh. But this one, you keep sharp on the both sides. No. Oh, Only just, one side. Just because you're right here. One side is flat, one side is sharpened. Okay. Normal, regular, regular knife, the chirp is in the middle. Uh huh. To work in bamboo, they need to be on one side only. Ah, uh, so you don't yeah, split that's very it important. in a strange yeah. way, yeah. right? And the material, we have uh, kind of steels for 0 to 16. 16, uh, how do you say? I don't know how to say in English, but it's the power of the steel. Uh -huh. Zero to like, sixteen, like some uh, measurement of the tensile strength. The, or the, the like tension. That. This one is good in five or six. 
Okay. If it's less, it's not okay. If it's too much, it's not okay too. Okay. Because if the knife fall, they're broken in pieces. Right. Um, this kind still I find is very, very good. And you can see here, maybe very sharp in the camera, there is some hole here. It's Holes making like the proposite to sharpen easier. You see, it's not flat here. Uh huh. And here I need your help. This is one technique that I used to make to make fish mount. Normally we can use some whole board to make this uh, exactly. Oh, like a, a boring saw that yeah. you hook up to a drill. Yeah, yeah. You drill the big... And that you can make the fish mount. <clears throat> and it won't splinter and cut up the bamboo. It makes a nice clean cut. Yeah. The okay. mice, yeah. And I want to make here some technique that is with uh, the circle saw. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I used to make for a long time. Because in the past, we used to make all manual. And after one time, I was tired and I find this a way to make with this. And they work very, very functional and very easy, very quick. And right. maybe you hold for me like this. You bet. I need, I need this one. Normal here, I make the um, the angle, and I need to respect the frame here to make right, and that's it. And here we can check this perfect. Wow. Normal. I can, I can make this with tools, but it's more time. This is the easier way to do it. Oh, so it. quick. And I teach this in courses, and I can make fish mount wherever side bamboo is. That is definitely one of those techniques that, because I've, I've worked with some of our bamboo already. My mm. furniture, probably I won't be showing mm. any pictures of. But, uh, <laughs> but this is one of those pieces I could never quite figure out exactly, and that's, yeah. this that's is, simple. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. You can see there's no holes. And then you just drill your holes in here yeah, and yeah. here and send a bamboo pin through it just like yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, for example, I, I can show how work my tools, for example. You see? Wow, just get, get the bamboo sharp. like butter. Wow. You can do this with uh, a normal knife. Okay. Only with this kind knife. And here too, you can see. All right, well, wow, since I'm getting the expert secrets here, how do you sharpen your knife? Um, this is the stone that I use. Stone. You can find in any store okay. that they make uh, building, building materials. Sure. And the way is to, you make this flat. Right, because you said one side's got to be and flat. This. And dry, you don't wet the stone? Uh, no, I wet, I wet the stone. If you're gonna really do I, it. I, I make this wet, but I show only here. Okay. Normally you need to put water, of oil. It's the, but when you use the stone with water, you, you need to use only water. If you if you make wet with uh, oil, only oil. Don't switch up. No, Just. one for the above, and that's it. Normally this here, it's more sharpening. Only with this, it's more sharpening. Super. You can show this. Yeah, that's all you need right there. Yeah. yeah. See. Bamboo, I can show how strong is the bamboo. You can see this, for example. Yeah, it's very, very strong. Normally, piece of wood, you can broken like nothing. You see this? It's difficult to broken. Mm -hmm. You see? And with this, you can see the chopping this. It's a good knife. Yeah. <laughs> this knife is amazing. It's uh -huh. amazing. 
And you, you need some the all, all techniques that you use in bamboo, you need this knife. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Now, there's another tool that I don't see here that I've seen used like on videos for splitting the columns like in four pieces. I have, yeah. Yeah. This one, I make soft. And this is to split the bamboo here. You made this one yourself? I make, yeah. You can find in the market too. But I make everything myself. Yeah. And with this, with this technique, I make this pieces you can see here. I want to bring ah, yeah. some ones. You can see the old ones is the same, the same size. Size. Mm -hmm. I put this in the circle and uh, the table saw, and so I can make all ones in the same. So then you take this and you run it through the table saw yeah, yeah. to get your. And so I can make all pieces. ones in the same, the same dimension. You can see here, uh -huh. all ones in the same, very okay. straight, perfect to push in walls like this. Uh huh. You can make floors too with this technique. Uh -huh. And now I want to use to put in the in the in the, uh, in the area to sit, this, uh -huh. like in this position, like this. Yeah, to put the cushion on. To mm -hmm. to put the or you can use or like without this. cushion, just yeah, comfortable yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. How long has you, how long have you been using this one? Forty years. So. Forty years. I made this with eighteen year old. Wow. And that worked like the first day. Wow. You're a true master. <laughs> this is great. Yeah.